finally this morning that I talked to my stepdad to know exactly what happened on on his and mom's trip a business trip last week so from what I hear this entire thing started after they were uh, after they had after they went to a restaurant in Louisiana that me and my mom went to a lot in the past to celebrate the celebrate of uh, one million views and the and all the all, all this uh all the people getting on board with, with the company yeah. and from there the stepdad told me uh, told me all that was um what had gone on board and from what I hear and I'm I'm willing to not doubt in the supernatural solar either solar or two other people were there at the restaurant board on their way out they there there was some chanting that was going on between them and and they attempted to effectively take a hold of my mom mm-hmm. and all throughout their way back my mother started partially speaking to Gerald in a way that she wouldn't at any any at any time in the past she was being a lot more aggressive a lot more assertive a lot a lot more demanding of stuff that she wants despite but uh, despite having to be somewhere at a specific time or coming back to the house with, uh, with the so that uh, me and my mom could and me and my grandma could finally be, uh, could be uh looked out for the stuff that we need while Solar was acting very weirdly too. All, all, all that was going on, he was almost as if he practically zoomed around, zoomed around with almost like an imp trying, almost like an imp looming behind a, looming behind a potential host. So he and, felt that he was definitely energy draining your mother in some way, shape, or form? I wouldn't say energy draining, but more or less invading. Okay. Oh, invading. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. There was one point in particular uh, in the, on the countryside of Dallas when, when they had pulled over. Mm-hmm. And I hear a lot of people talking about 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 Gerald, about Gerald pulling out, pulling out a gun, a gun towards my mom. Mm-hmm. That is true. The part about the gun, he, he did indeed pull, pull out the pull out the pull out the gun that he had for self defense with only one in the chamber. Mm-hmm. He aimed it at himself oh. and submitted to and submitted to my mom's man that if if she was true about what killing him then do it but my mom wasn't grabbing the gun and when her and when her hand and when her arm and hand were reaching out for it she 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 got herself out of the car immediately that's not normal I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, buddy, that you have to go through these things. I, I hope you're okay. I really do. I know it's I know it's a lot, but it is. I've been through a lot my whole life. Yeah. I've come to endure the I've come to endure the pain and move on with the day. Yeah. So so yeah. All the while he all the all the while, so my mother is acting completely abnormally and solar is always trying to be around her yeah. it's it's so weird it's so weird and switches 
that we don't even know solar for all that long, like not even a whole month. And like I said earlier, for both me and my grandma, we don't even know him for a full week. And he's doing all of this being this close to my mother. Absolutely. This is, he is going far beyond his boundaries. Yeah. And then, then I hear some part about his past. I, if I had to, um, if I, if I had the time to do so, I would maybe try to look up some extra stuff about him, but I'm not sure where to start looking at first, but if I had the time and knowledge, I would have looked into it, but from I hear, the man was already married four times before the women, and he didn't treat them all that nice either. And one of them, and to one of those, and one of those wives, was suffered so much punishment that it killed the poor baby that she would have given birth to. Mm. That poor child yes. was like snuffed out before they could see the light. I don't care who or what, who you are or what you identify as. No sane person would dare harm a mother especially when they are about to have a child who's about to be born into this world that is outright insidious and you and and to think that this Life abusing sex addict dares to try to lump himself with us and call himself a member of his of our family or an assistant to the company. There are two things that I could, uh, that I will say to you and everyone else about how I feel about that. You didn't even you didn't sign any papers about being an intern to the company or being any form of assistant. So you're not even officially in at all. You're just making up claims and you want to stick on just to drain some money, like Nosferatu trying to drink some blood for some food. Mm -hmm. And as for the claims of being a part of, a, uh, trying to be a part of a family and move in, that has to be the biggest insult to me that I have ever heard mm. in my life. So if you think you can lump yourself in and connect yourself with me and my family, I got two words. And uh, as much as I'd like to be nice, gloves are off. Everyone strap in. Because I got a, I got a, lo I got a loaded N SMG and an assault rifle Ooh. of words, and I ain't gonna stop firing once I start. All right, man. Piss off! You think you can lump yourself in with us and be as close with my mother as you are, as you were in the past couple of days? knowing all the things she's been through in her life and how much she's had to sacrifice to keep me happy to protect me from what I think it was wrong you take the heart of a kind soul selfless enough to care for others and wanting to help them and you take advantage of that sweet person for your greed for your pleasure wow no you don't I'm not one for violence 
and I'm not one to rely on violent means to get things across. But despite that, I will not roll over and accept what he's done and things he can get away with. Hell to the no. All things be damned, this man is insidious. Absolutely. Fuck him. Mm. As a matter of fact, going to step up, take the big black onyx hammer and ram that up the crevice of that dirt, of those dirt mounds that he has above his legs. Mm. And I'm terribly straight. Fuck him. Mm. Unforgivable. Yeah. What he's done. Absolutely. No way on any normal circumstance would she even think of spreading around the ashes of my brother mm -hmm. like she did last night. How did that make you feel? I heard of that from a I heard of that from one of my aunts. Mm -hmm. But when I heard of that, I could know in my heart that something was horribly wrong. She would never do this. Yeah. And now that I have the word, I know she didn't do that of of her own volition or of any form of deteriorating mental health. She did that because a demon was right there to guide her hands yes. and her uh, and her poor body. She came up here and saw to me while I was at a fucking barbershop. Her and fucking goddamn me, Solar, came to the barbershop where I was sitting there resting in peace after the fucking cops was called on me. Fucking bruised me and fucking assaulted me. Come up here acting a fucking fool. Throwing Giovanni's ashes out the car, calling niggas bitches and hoes. Come up here acting a fucking donkey. Didn't fucking leave. And somebody else called the cops on her. Somebody else called the cops on her. I can't calm her down. I can't calm her down. They came up here and assaulted me. Her and motherfucking me so long. Came up here and assaulted me at the motherfucking barbershop. I never called the laws of my wife. She did this to herself. Hanging out with that motherfucker nigga in the back of that motherfucking car. So long. Fucking motherfucking sex cultist. Talking about I love you, I love you. They fucking drinking and everything. They both fucking drunk as fuck. Fucking doing fucking lives and shit with motherfucking King Pain. Talking about me, I pulled guns and shit out. I didn't put no gun on it. She didn't tell y'all the truth. She grabbed that motherfucker and said she should shoot me in the motherfucking head. She get the shit over with. Cause I ain't worth shit to her. I ain't worth shit to her, huh? No value, huh? And you do me like this? Right with that motherfucker? Got you involved in this shit? What the fuck, bro? You tripping. Now both of y'all niggas locked up, you beating yourself up in the goddamn cop car. Now you now you leaving. What the fuck, babe? Y'all pray for her. Please pray for her. Please pray for her. Please, please, please pray for her. Pray for us. Told that nigga Solar bad. Sean Davy, why you right, my nigga? The niggas terrible, bro. I pay for niggas clothes, food, everything, my nigga. Everything. Everything, y'all. Everything, y'all. I pay for everything, y'all. Yeah, my lips white. Drilling Russian. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck to say, my nigga. I don't know why she did this shit, bro. I came up here to chill. I came up here to get a peace of mind, to get away from that shit from what happened to me last night. I could have died last night. The cops thought that I had a gun in my hand. Another cop I had to tell everybody it's his fucking phone. Stand down. What the fuck? Pull me, my stepson, out the motherfucking house. Go in the fucking house with fucking guns, nigga. How the fuck these people get our fucking address since it's such anonymous? Come on, man. Right after you get off the phone with King Payne doing the interview, laughing and joking, eating velvet taco with this nigga who's supposed to be married to Velvet? From Carbon Nation, Carbon Island shit? Yeah, this is what Carbon Island gets you, motherfuckers. Yeah, somebody sent this shit to King World 2020. I'm done. What marriage? Thanks, so. I'm just 